Hey everyone, I've got Post Malone's 64 best songs in MS Paint, and we're going to go ahead and do this bracket to figure out what is his best song. Now, just a couple of things. He has a lot of amazing features. I didn't include those because this list would have to go like two, three hundred songs. And I chose the 64 best songs. He does have more, but I had to cut the list somewhere, and I guarantee you, your favorite will be on this list. So we've got a lot to do, so let's get started. The first round should hopefully be easy, and it'll get much harder as we go. Probably around this point, or this point is when you guys will try to find me in real life. Uh, but hey, we'll, we'll deal with that problem when we get there, right? All right, here we go. First matchup, Cooped Up, Candy Paint. I think this one should be fairly easy. Cooped Up, I think, is a great song. Trashed by Roddy Rich's feature. Um, it's a great song, but something like Candy Paint... Come on, guys. It's a classic. We got Sign Me Up and Same Bees. All right, Sign Me Up, right? I think people sleep on this song. I slept on the song. I, I think when I reviewed it, I called it a mediocre song. It is now, like, my most listened to the past, like, month. So, um, decent song, but um, Sign Me Up's kind of got it for me. Also, I should probably note that these are all my opinion, but my opinion's correct. So, you know sucks for you uh nova candy versus allergic i think another pretty easy one actually why am i kind of, why don't i just take it nova candy i think yeah it's a good song another one that is slightly slept on not as slept on i think i might have rated this as like a seven out of ten it's not like an eight or nine out of ten for me allergic i actually don't like that song so yeah you know all right stay and feeling whitney now, this might be one of, like, the Soul Crushers, where you maybe you guys will want to track me down already. It's a little too early in the list for that, but I'm actually going to go with Stay. I think Stay has been, like, my underdog of, the like, the past six months. I feel like I never appreciated the song until I went to his concert, and then after listening, after, I think I heard it in his concert, this song just, like, ah, oh, it's been on repeat for me. And although Feeling Whitney, once again, I don't blame you guys for maybe hating me here. It's a great song. One of his best, one of the best slow songs, an absolute classic. But I mean, look, if we're going to go based on which is the better song for me, I listen to Stay very often and I don't listen to Feeling Whitney very often. So if for some reason you guys are choosing Feeling Whitney, I don't blame you at all. Like I don't, but I'm going to go with Stay. Sunflower versus Rich and Sad. I think Sunflower deserves that i think it's you know it's part of the diamond collection go flex versus chemical um go flex um good song I, I would call it like the mediocre pick of that album uh but chemical is like was like the standout of the most recent one and it's a pretty good one not my favorite in the album but it's very very good on the road versus over now i okay so if you guys don't know my favorite album is hollywood's bleeding so I really like On The Road, but I've got to give credit to Over Now. It's a good song. It, it's one of the catchiest on this list, I'd say. Like, if we're talking about catchiness, Over Now is up there uh, as far as being catchy. Lemon Tree versus Wasting Angels. I really like Lemon Tree. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I think it got pretty, like, mediocre reception, but um, I really like it. I don't know the thing that he does with his voice, the Lemon Tree, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... I, I really like this song. Uh, the first week of me listening to uh, that album, Lemon Tree was the one that I listened to the most, like the first week. And of course, it changed later. But Wow versus Enemies. I'm going to go ahead and go with Wow here. I think most people would agree. As much as I do like it, again, Hollywood Bleeding is my favorite album. So, of course, think something like Enemies is going to be very high up on my list. But Wow is just a tiny bit higher. Pick what you want versus one right now. I think this is going to be like almost the same as on the road versus over now where take what you want with Ozzy Osbourne is like such a good song. But one right now just has that like pop appeal with the weekend. And once again, I classify this as one of the catchier songs that Post Malone has. Now, it's kind of a cop out because it's like half the weekend but that'll well that'll be reflected later 
main money made me do it versus rockstar probably the easiest pick to do as of this moment rockstar is an absolute classic of national treasure so something real versus don't understand something real is in my top three for the latest album so we're gonna go ahead and go with something real this and enough is enough which i think is probably coming up euthanasia versus overdrive this this one might be a little controversial I feel like for the slow posty enthusiasts here, Euthanasia is probably better. But kind of the same with State. I listened to Overdrive in concert, and ever since that moment, the song has just like resonated through my brain, giving me positive things. So I, I just, I really like Overdrive. I think it's one of Post Malone's best slower songs. Um, and I don't really listen to Euthanasia. Like, if we're gonna go, like, on an artistic basis, like, if we're talking, like, critiquing the words and the production, yeah, Euthanasia's a better song, right? But, <laughs> it's boring, right? Overdrive is poorly written, probably not produced as good, but it has a slight hook to it, which makes me want to listen to it more. Therefore, in my opinion, it's a better song. Uh, no, and if you guys have noticed, I value replayability quite a bit. If I if I want to listen to it again, it's gonna rank high on my list. If it's a good song that's produced well, written well, but I don't want to listen to it again, why would I rank it high? I'm never listening to it again. We're not ranking artist like ar artistic. Um, I think I'm artistic. I'm not ranking like the art i'm ranking is it a good song you know and anyone who says a good song i don't know where i'm going with it. just the, the point is you can't claim something to be an amazing song if you only want to listen to it once right at least that's just my personal opinion y'all can hate me for it no option versus saint tropez i'm a hollywood's bleeding person so saint tropez is always gonna rank high staring at the sun versus deja vu Ooh, yawning um i'm not actually really a big fan of deja vu so staring at the sun's kind of an easy pick congratulations versus ball for me um i like ball for me but it's not the best i think it has some like weird awkward moments in the middle of the song well congratulations is a national treasure all around so when i'm alone versus waiting for a miracle i think both are decent but when i'm alone is clearly much better has more emotion um i've got a wife i can't sit here and claim that i am alone or that i'm in my feels but uh when i'm alone it hits you know it has got that emotion to it making me feel some type of thing so i, I actually do like when i'm alone quite a bit it's a nice song sugar wraith versus hollywood's bleeding this one might be one of the ones that hurts the most because i i'm not even kidding i just listened to sugar wraith in the shower this morning to remind myself how great of a song it is, but Hollywood's Bleeding is like, I expect this to go very far on the list. Spoiler. But, yeah. So, shout out. Shout out Sugar Wraith. But, yeah. It ended up getting unlucky and got paired up with like an absolute heavy hitter, at least in my brain. So, it's like the Detroit Lions and I don't even know. I can't even make that comparison because we're good now so suck it uh too cool to die versus i know we're gonna go with too cool to die i actually really like that song enough is enough enough is enough enough is enough something real and too cool to die are like three of the ones that have recently really started replaying in my playlist 92 explorer versus myself now this one's a pretty easy pick for me i am going to make the bold claim that 92 explorer might be post malone's most underrated songs like ever it as far as it's like spotify numbers it doesn't seem to be played all that often and i, I guess i get it because it's basically surrounded by all these like mega hits so it's like almost easy to forget about it but 92 explorer is i think was my most listened to song of last year and yeah, I listen to it while studying basically every single day. It's just, it's such a good song. People really sleep on it. If Out of anything on this list, if you need a song that you maybe like, if you need a new song to listen to and for some reason you've ignored this song, it's pretty good. All right. 
I only want to be with you versus the internet. Um, I'm going to go with I only want to be with you. It, it, it's a cover. It's kind of cheating. It's like it's not really his song. But I'm going to commit another sin and say that his cover is better than the original of like the Hootie and the Blowfish or whatever. And yes, I have listened to both. Okay, I might be, you know, a little young and maybe you don't appreciate the oldies or I don't whatever you boomers want to say. I Look, I understand. I, and I know Anthony Fantana would absolutely choke me through the screen if you heard me say this, but it's okay because I don't care. I Only Want to Be With You is a great song, even though it's a cover. And although I like I say it's better than the original, you can't really compare the two. They're two. They're just made by different people, made in different ways. It's a good song either way, so shut up, alright? Uh, Socialite versus White Iverson. We're gonna go ahead and go with White Iverson. It's, it's obvious. Socialite is, in my opinion, one of the weaker songs of the new album. White Iverson is a legendary classic, so. Psycho versus I Cannot Be. Kind of the same deal here. Rockstar and Psycho are, like, the same song. They've got this... Like, they, they've got that, like... That hit, right? The They've got that thing to it where it's like... Yeah, this is, like... This transcends music, Doug, you know? Goodbyes versus Enough is Enough. I really like Goodbyes because it's on Hollywood's Bleeding. But Enough is Enough has been on my playlist as a recent. And I think overall, if I had to Thanos snap one of these songs out of existence, I think I'd, I'd have to go with Enough is Enough and get rid of Goodbyes. So I Like You versus Morning. Uh, both really good. I'm going to go with Morning though. Because it's just a good song. Spell My Night versus Die For Me. I really like the synergy between Pulse Malone and Halsey and Future, especially at the end of Die For Me when they all like start singing together. Bro, honestly, like it might be cringe, but I kind of get chills. I, I really, I really like this song. I Fall Apart versus Love, Love, oh no. That sucks for me. So I Fall Apart is like my wife's favorite song and rightly so love letter to, to alcohol i think is probably the best storytelling that post Malone has had in a song <sighs> i think i'm gonna have to go with that fall apart i don't like this though you know it hurts me because i really like this song quite a bit so uh special shout out to love 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 hate lettered alcohol but i fall apart it's just uh it's just better all right zach and cody and versus raptor on your finger Oh, okay. I know we're on a little hate train of Doja Cat because she's kind of a big old poo poo head right now. But and a lot of you guys really like Zach and Cody, and of course it's from Beer Bonds Medley, so you know a lot of people are gonna have bias towards it. But I think "Wrapped Around Your Finger" is just an absolute like summer classic. Like that's the type of song you listen to when you've got a new girlfriend and you're sitting on the beach eating a charcuterie board. You know what I'm saying? It's a good song. Insane versus Blame It On Me. Blame It On Me. It's kind of like the same with, uh, what is it? Like When I'm Alone. Oh, there was the other song. And I Fall Apart. Blame It On Me is just like a good, good emotional feely song. And I have to, I'll, you know, a special shout out to Insane. On that album, it, it might have been the only song that felt like classic post malone right when the album came out i'm sure all of you guys remember how like not maybe we were all initially disappointed in like the direction that post malone was taking but i remember listening to insane and thinking okay so he still has it right he he did it he made a song like he used to do is it as good as those no but it's a good song so shout out to insane but um blame it on me it's just it's just a better song Paranoid versus Better Now. I think another pretty easy pick here. Better Now is just obvious. Motley Crue versus Other Side. Another obvious pick for me. I think 92 Explorer was my most listened song a year or two ago. Motley Crue was my most listened, listened to song of that year, of whatever year the other one was. So if it's 21 and 22, one of them was 21, one of them was 22. I forgot the order, but um, yeah, Motley Crue. Um, came out that one summer where he didn't release anything for quite a while and once again it was just that rejuvenation of okay post Malone still got it you know uh he's going through some emotional changes some personal changes in his life but he still got it you know and the uh the music video was an absolute banger so okay 
reputation and circles. All right, obviously, come on, guys. Don't play with me. I know you guys have heard circles on the radio one too many times, and you probably want to gouge out your ears. But come on, guys, it's a good song. You know, can't poop on it too much. So um, here's some shout shout out Sugar Wraith of Le Love Hate Lettered Alcohol and Insane. Those are my shout out. Ah, okay, come on, Zach and Cody deserves a shout out. Shout out Zach and Cody. Okay. Time to move on to round two. How are you guys feeling so far? Are you angry at me yet? Uh, probably not. I I think my choices so far have been pretty consistent with what I hope most people would have. But I can definitely, like, the again, these three, I understand. Sugar Wraith, maybe I under, very much understand. But, okay. Woo! Let's keep it going. Candy Paint versus Sign Me Up. Okay, now here's the dilemma, right? This is my old love versus my new love. You know what I'm saying? The candy paint, it, it reeks of 2018 uh, sitting in your friend's truck on 4th of July looking at fireworks. Wonderful time. You know, I'll sign me up is from his new album, and it's one that I've been bopping to as of recent. All right, you guys can officially try to track down my location and come beat me. Sign me up. I'm sorry. I just listened to both of them again. And as much as Candy Paint's an absolute classic, I'm sorry, man. Sign me up is just such a good song. It's just so catchy once you listen to it a few times and you really get the worm inside of your brain. Sign me up is just such a good song. I'm sorry, Candy Paint. This is this is tough, but shout out Candy Paint. Uh, but sign me up wins for me. Nova Candy versus Stay. I think by far Stay is better. Nova Candy is a good song. It, it beat out, you know, Allergic. But Stay is now getting into the next tier of Post Malone. Sunflower versus Chemical. We're going to go ahead and go with Sunflower. I think, one, like, 1v1, they're fairly close, actually. But I think Sunflower, it it just has that mega, mega hit, you know, capabilities. And it shows with it being, you know, like a diamond song well chemical is great but maybe just a little it has a little less power than sunflower so we're gonna go in sunflower over now versus lemon tree we're gonna go and go with over now once again kind of for the same like clickability replayability catchiness but lemon tree is good again it, if i could make this go higher into the list i would but when it comes against songs like over now i think it's just slightly outclassed wow versus one right now that's my phone um i'm actually gonna go with wow and let me explain and this might be like bad science but one right now has the weekend in it so it's like half half the song is the weekends meanwhile wow is completely post malone they're very close but since one right now is kind of like diluted by the weekend I think like wow is like a little better because it's pure post malone and this is post malone's best songs not post malone's best vocal like it's not again terrible reasoning but it, the weekend dilutes the song wow is better uh, by default because it is just him and it's just as good so if it's two songs that are just as good but one has a feature i'm gonna go with the one without the feature rockstar versus something real look this might be the one pick that I actually, like, disagree with myself. As far as, like, th what I'm listening to, something real beats Rockstar, but you can't deny Rockstar. The, like, you can't deny the song itself, like, how good it was and how catchy it is. So, we're going to go ahead and go with Rockstar. Overdrive versus St. Tropez. We're going to go with St. Tropez here. Pretty easy pick for me. Uh, you can probably tell that a lot of the slow songs that I like have made it to the second round, but... A lot of these, mo probably all of the slow songs except Stay will probably end up leaving at this stage in the game. So, staring at the sun versus congratulations. Come on, guys, don't play with me. When I'm alone and Hollywood's bleeding, Hollywood's bleeding. It might be a little closer than I'd like, but Hollywood's bleeding is amazing. Too Cool to Die versus 92 Explorer. This one personally hurts me. But I'm gonna go go. I'm gonna go with 92 Explorer. I think once again, this is gonna definitely be like the dark horse underdog, whatever you want to call it, of this list. This probably ends up leaving in round one for many of you. But this one's gonna. This it's gonna go pretty high in my in my thing. So 
I only want to be with you versus White Iverson. Now, here's the deal, right? I'm going to go with White Iverson simply because I think White Iverson is better. But the secondary reasoning is actually because I only want to be with you is a cover, right? And it would almost be a sin for me to have I only want to be with you go super deep into the list with it being a cover. So we're going to get go ahead and go with White Iverson here. Psycho versus Enough is Enough. I think we have to go with Psycho, right? It's just, it's a staple of Post Malone. While Enough is Enough is such a great song, I think Psycho just has to beat it. Morning versus Die For Me. I'm actually going to go for Die For Me. I Once again, that synergy between Halsey, Future, and Post Malone. Although, once again, I'm kind of defeating my own logic in that, well, this is just Post Malone. Meanwhile, this is technically, he's one third of the song. I just think Die For Me is like so much better than Morning. I, I'm, so I might go against my own logic here, and that's fine. I Fall Apart versus Wrapped Around My Finger. I'm going to go with I Fall Apart. Very emotional, you know. If we're, if we're talking emotions, this song can't be beat. Blame It On B versus Better... Who in the world is calling me? Alright. I couldn't tell if that was an insurance call or a scam call. Who knows? Either way. Um... Blame it on me versus better now. Better now. That's a, that's another pretty tough pick. but And then Motley Crue versus Circles. Again, one where I kind of have... I might have to go against my own feelings. Dude, can I do like a quick swap -a Can I do that? Okay, you know what, guys? This might be cheating. But I... I'm, um, Just... Uh, you know, how about we just... Uh, whoops uh oops whoa where why are things moving oh no this is crazy how about we just uh, we just move yeah okay all right next round and i guess special shout out to over now but sorry you uh it, all these other songs are in their own lane other over now is in another lane so okay here we go N moving on to the next round and this is where it's going to get very very tough making this video was a mistake why did i think i'd be able to choose between songs like this you know what we're gonna go ahead and pull a reverse uno card let's go to the bottom of the list uh better now versus motley crew we're gonna go on motley crew we might have to quick fire this i don't know i just like what am i supposed to say i like better now is such a good song like, what do you what do you want me to say right um i fall apart versus die for me I'm gonna go with Die for Me. Uh, White Iverson versus Psycho. We're gonna go ahead and go with Psycho. Hollywood's Bleeding versus I Need to Explore. We're gonna go with Hollywood's Bleeding, which hurts. Congratulations versus Saint Tropez. Um, shoot, man, it's this is tougher than you. for most people. This should be a no-brainer. For me, it is still a no-brainer, but it's tougher than you might think it is. Okay, no, come on. Congratulations is way better. Or, okay, hold on, hold on, David. Way better? No. Is it better? Yes. Okay. Wow versus Rockstar. Um, Rockstar, obviously. Circles versus Sunflower. We're going to go ahead and go with Circles. They both got the same vibe, but I think Circles does it better. And Circles is doesn't have Sway Lee. And sign me up. Oh, we're back. No. Okay, guys. You know what? I have to pick. I'm going to go with Stay. <laughs> We have, what is it, our top what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count. I did pass the second grade. We have our top eight. Stay, Circles, Rockstar, Congratulations, Hollywood's Bleeding, Psycho, Die For Me, and Motley Crew. I feel like we have, it might be like a little bit of like a mismatch in like the heaviness of some of these songs, but. Okay. This might be the part of the list where I might have to go and re-listen to some things. All right, you know what? We're gonna go with Stay. I'm sorry, Circles. I love you, but um, I just think Stay has that just a little bit more oomph. Circles has like the mega hit capability, the radio capability, but I think Stay just has that personal touch that I like a little bit more. It Stay is a little less generic, if you know what I'm saying. Rockstar versus Congratulations. Oof. Okay, I gotta go listen to Congratulations again. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Rockstar. Come on, guys. 
congratulations basically made post malone aside from white iverson but rockstar just it's just more it's more post malone better produced i think it's catchier congratulations did what it did but i think rockstar upgraded it so we're gonna go and go with rockstar hollywood's bleeding versus psycho okay hold on all right all right you guys are gonna hate me but that's okay hollywood bleeding i just think it's better i just i really like hollywood's bleeding dude i'm sorry okay die for me and motley crew this is probably the the one it's on the weaker end now all right guys we're gonna go and go with motley crew yeah yeah i think i think i'm happy with that pick somehow i thought the beginning i feel like there was like a weird like bell curve with this right like the beginning was easy the middle was very hard and now that we're getting towards the end it's like somehow getting slightly easier so what do we got in the top four stay rockstar hollywood's bleeding and motley crew i think we gotta go with hollywood's bleeding and stay versus rockstar i think we gotta go with rockstar here okay this is the big one rockstar versus hollywood's bleeding all right here we go we gotta gotta give him another listen oh no <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm sorry oh hollywood's bleeding gotta take it for me i'm just literally listening to it it's such a banger dude i'm sorry i feel like i'm like trolling right i feel like i'm trolling I mean, okay, you know what? Let, let's play like, uh, and, and this breaks the whole purpose of this. Let's play s if things changed a little bit, okay? How about this? You know, let me open up a new paint dock. Let's go ahead and uh, slippy slide that over there. Um, I think the, the, the place where things really took a drastic turn was the second, right? And then circles. So in like an alternate universe, this would be the top four of Stay, Rockstar, White Iverson, Circles. I think Circles would go, and then Rockstar. And I think in an alternate universe, Rockstar would be the best song. Albums. So what are the Diamond Collection? I'm gonna assume that most people's favorite is gonna fall under here. Right. This was tough, guys. Honestly, this was tough. And again, it, it's like, how do you pick between like Rockstar and Congratulations, right? Like they're just, they're different and they're great in their own ways. It, it's tough. And, and essentially this, this list doesn't make that much sense. But um, I guess that's the fun part. I do want to do one more fun thing though. Well, let's just say I did this list completely based on what I'm listening to right now. Like, right now. Okay, so if we're talking about what I'm currently listening to, the top four would be Stay, Something Real, Hollywood's Bleeding, and Motley Crue. And honestly, I would even say, like, if we're really talking, I would say Enough is Enough is probably my top four. So really what I'm listening to right now is stay something real hollywood's bleeding enough is enough um and i would still say hollywood's bleeding still comes out and then probably something real might come out so essentially any of these songs could be like in the winner it would be the winner stay something real hollywood's bleeding enough is enough those would all be winners along with again motley Crue, saint tropez wow sign me up i need to explore better now those would all like almost be winners so I'm sorry I can't give you guys like a 100% definite list, but I, I mean, how could you, right? Um, but I had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed uh, going through it with me. And let me know if you want me to do this with maybe his albums or maybe his features or do like a oh, 200 version of this with all the songs, all of his features. I don't know. You know, tell me what you guys want. I think either way, it sounds like fun to me. So thanks for watching, guys.